Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to introduce the Store Centralized Service and we're going to go over its API. For that we're going to be using here the home component, which corresponds to this component that we have here on the screen. If we inspect here the home component template, we're going to see that indeed we have here a tab panel with two tabs, the beginners and the advanced tab. And for each of these tab panels we have here a couple of observables that we are subscribing to get the corresponding data. These observables are defined at the level of the component itself at component construction time. We have here on ng on init, we are defining here the beginner courses observable and the advanced courses observable as well as the promotion total observable that corresponds here to this counter that is displayed here on top of the screen. As we can see in this current version of the implementation of the component, we are injecting here directly in the constructor the courses service, which is an HTTP based service. In the new implementation of this component, however, we are going to instead be injecting here the centralized application store. We are going to define here a variable called store and we are going to annotate it with the following type. We are going to be using the store type from ngrx store and we are going to pass to this type one parameter which is the type of state that the store contains. In this case it's the application state interface that we have defined here in our index.ts on the reducers folder. This store in the new implementation of the home component is going to be the source of all our data. So we will no longer have to use here the core services directly in this component. This also means that the store will be able to keep the data. So as we navigate away from this page, the data will not be thrown away. It will still be available in the store. Let's now have a quick look at the store service and see what can we do with it. So as we can see here with the autocompleter, we have here the method subscribe. This means that our store itself is an observable. We can subscribe to it and we can combine it with other observables. The multiple values emitted by this store observable are instances of application state. So the store is an observable of application state. This is one of the most critical concepts to understand about NGRX and the store architecture. Because the store is an observable, we should not directly modify the data that it's emitting. Instead, if we want to modify the data that is available inside the store, let's say that, for example, we would like to load the list of courses. For that, we need to dispatch an action to the store. And for that, we have here the dispatch method. The subscribe method and the dispatch method are by far the two most important methods of the store API. So let's summarize, the store is a centralized singleton service that acts as an in-memory database that is going to contain all our application state, meaning both the data of the application and any other user interface state that we want to keep on a centralized place. We cannot modify that data directly from the components. In order to modify the data, instead we need to dispatch an action. The store is then going to react to the action, which is essentially an event, and it's going to, in response to that, produce a new version of the application state. Let's now continue to dive deeper into the store architecture. What we want to do is we want to populate the store with some data as soon as possible. And in order to do that, as we know, we need an action. So let's define our first store action. 